so it is a rainy Monday afternoon as we pull up to our local Goodwill here. So let's hope it is raining gems in there today. So thrift along with me. All right, so I was hoping that this was not what I thought it was. But I ended up having to buy it because it looks like it might be brand new. It's big and awkward, but I know these sell really well. So I'm going to check it out, see if how the condition is, also how much they want for it. All right, so it looks like they want $12.99. I'm going to look this up to see if they're still worth picking up. I'm kind of hoping not because I don't want to ship it or store it. Guys, I've been finding some reverse weave champion sweatshirts lately, and I haven't been picking them up, but this one we might be picking up. This one's actually a really cool, like, coral color, and it's got the champion logo throughout. It's definitely more unique than the solid ones. Unfortunately, it is an extra small, so it might take a while to sell. <laughs> but I think this is going to be an okay pickup for us. No. Hey, Braylee, can I see one of these shirts? You can look, but you can't buy it yet because I haven't counted it yet. Okay. But. How about this one? You can look at it, but you can't. I can't buy it. Alright, so it looks like the only thing that we're going to be picking up today is that reverse weave sweatshirt. So the tap out t-shirt that you guys saw me pick up in that pile that one of the Goodwill workers is about to hang. She won't let me have it until she counts and then puts it on the rack so unfortunately we're going to have to leave the store pick up my husband so maybe they will have it tomorrow when i come back we will check i'm not sure how much it's going for it definitely needs a bleach job it has major pit stains but might be still worth picking up if we can bleach it get it out buy a little bit more than bread and butter bottom shelf this intrigued me to pick up this cute little rooster chicken and by and behold, it is a longer burger pottery piece, so definitely going to be snagging this one for $1.99. All right, so it looks like I might have scored on some dishware. So I thought these were pretty standard, but as I looked more into them, they're called Montana Lifestyles, the Cowboy Reflections series, apparently. It looks like they're all different if I don't break them first. Here's the other one. And then here is the fourth one. So looks like these are going to be really good lotted up. It looks like they go for around 30 plus shipping each. And I actually just noticed there's mugs. So I'll definitely be grabbing these as well for 99 cents each for sure. And these are $1.99. All right, please talk me out of getting this Build-A-Bear here. She's just so cute. Like, look at that face. It's adorable. She's got a cute little cheerleading costume on. She is one of the World Wildlife Fun series, I guess, which I think makes her more special. But I don't know. I'm thinking with her outfit and stuff. Could probably do for 25 free shipping. So for $4.99, probably gonna have to leave it. But I'm having a hard time leaving it. Like I said, look at that face. So I came across two interesting pairs of pants, and I think they probably came from the same person. This one is actually called Wania, which I've never heard of before, but check out all these zippers. It's crazy. So I definitely looked into these, and it looks like if they were brand new, they'd definitely be a pickup. But this would probably sit for a while, unfortunately, so we're going to leave it. And then also here is the other ones, way less crazy but they've got the pinstripe with the holes and these ones are called argonaut nation so again not great seller on this one as well this one's actually worse than this one so maybe if i'm desperate in half off day if they're still here maybe i'll grab them there is a new clothing rack out 
but unfortunately didn't find anything. But would you guys buy this? So the first thing I see is this Levi's made in the USA. So I'm assuming it's vintage, which is really cool. It's got the acid wash going on, but look at the back. Somebody painted it. So this is going to be very specific. Not a terrible job, but not amazing. So I think we're going to leave this, but would you pick up something like this? All right. A lovely cart just for me. A lovely cart just for me. Yeah, I'm sure there's nothing great. I know, it doesn't look like it. Hmm. Where'd you go? Uh oh. I could have been here, but now I'm over here. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is cool. This might be vintage. All right, I'll look into that. Food towel. All right, so bummer. This one only sells for about 20 free shipping, and there are a lot listed. So on the rack, it's going to sit. All right, let's check out the purses here. There hasn't been really too many lately. It's like some want to be Vera Bradley or maybe they are oh they actually are Vera Bradley oops oh got a sack here all right I love that color super cute green color got a little bit of wear there a little bit of wear here but this is really really cute with the little tassel here and they didn't mark it up, so I'm going to be paying, I think, 4 or $5 for this. So, not too shabby. So, I did find a Champion Reverse Weave. It's a really good size, which is a 1X. I'm not sure if this is vintage. I'm not sure it's vintage, but it's just a plain black sweatshirt. If it had more of a design, definitely be more desirable to pick up. So, since it is pretty plain, I think I'm going to go ahead and leave it. If it's still here on half off day, I might grab it. But I'm trying to be more picky right now. I just have so much stuff. I know. Such a problem. Alright, so I did pick up this. It is a back brace. I've picked up several in the past and they sell pretty quickly for about $50 free shipping and we're only paying five bucks so we're gonna go ahead and grab that and also we are gonna be heading out of the store now I haven't been in here too long but not a lot of people are donating today so maybe next time but I'm not gonna complain because we got some good stuff in here what is up YouTube fam? We are at a new Goodwill today in a city called Terre Haute and we've got my husband and the boy with us today. Say hi Cash. We're going to go into Goodwill and we're going to find some gems, right Cash? And some toys. And some toys. I know you guys are surprised by this. All right, got a new card here. Got some Briaropoly. I've never actually found this before. Two ninety nine. So I'm not sure if this is going to be worth anything. Definitely a hot mess in there. We also have a Save by the Bell. Again, I've never found this game before. This definitely looks vintage. Probably the eighties because it was eighties. Yep. Well, nineties, nineteen ninety two, right there. National Geographic, that's a puzzle. Roaring Rescue, Aggravation. Got some cool games here. So, unfortunately, neither one of these games are worth picking up. The Briaropoly, Saved by the Bell. But, honestly, it was just really a cool find for both of those. But, we're going to go ahead and leave those. So, check this out. This is super cute. The bears, this desk is like heavy one of the definitely old school vintage desks only 35 dollars if i thought we would use it i'd definitely be picking up but yeah just 
really, really cute. What do we got back here? Fisher Price. Baby monitor. I wonder if this is the one they used in Toy Story. I bought one new in the box. Very vintage a long time ago. And I think I made like $200 off of it. Because it came from Toy Story. So we're going to look into this for $4.99. I just found one that was like this yesterday. But unfortunately this one is missing two of the little felt pieces that go on the numbers. They're all in his sack here. But I counted them twice. Unfortunately, they're missing too, so I'm going to have to leave it. So check out this ornament here. I do try to look up almost every single one, unless I've seen them, and I know they're not worth anything. But this one I scan, and it looks like they're trying to get around $70 for them. There is none sold at this point, but I think come Christmas, it might be worth picking them up for a dollar. And even getting half that, I think it's definitely a no-brainer. So I've picked up one of these in the past that was actually used and I still sold it. This is brand in the box for $1.99. So we're definitely grabbing that. Alright, checking on a new stock cart and I found a brand new set of CDs. The audio Bible. So for $2.99, definitely a no-brainer on that. We got Torrid check it found in the men's area but it looks like it's like crushed velvet material awesome color like an emerald green hopefully this one is good perfect all right guys so we found this one harley davidson sweatshirt here um it is a large just a simple sweatshirt but it's embroidered with the harley davidson logo and kind of like a pleather material look up I looked up this one and it goes for about 38 bucks and I think we're only gonna pay about 489 so that's a nice find taking a peek in the women's jackets here I thought this one looked quite unique with embroidery and it is actually from QVC brand new with tags it's a 1x which is a great size and you guys know we love our embroidery. I think I just hit the American Girl jackpot here. So this one right here, I thought it was like one of those miniature dolls, which aren't worth very much. But when I open it up, it is one of their kits, I guess, that you can buy separately. This one's called Kits Waffle Iron. So here's the waffle iron. Here's the waffles, the plug, and the little... I don't know. I think it's complete. If this is, this is going to be a major score for $1.99. So we don't have one, but we actually have two, which this one's different. This one's Kit's Gooseneck Lamp. So it's got the lamp, a telephone, and a book. So I ended up picking up this vintage World Series 1998 hat. So for dollar, pretty good pickup. So we found a Patagonia hat. This is definitely vintage with the made USA tag in there. So hats are cheaper. So go ahead and grab that one as well. All right, didn't do too bad today. Got quite a bit of items here in the store we haven't been to in a while. Favorite things are the American Girl things. Definitely the Bible set. We got some clothing. We got a hodgepodge of stuff, so super excited for that. Hopefully you guys loved it as much as we did. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll ring our bell. And until next time, keep your arms outside. Are you helping Cash? Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you for helping Lola. Oop. Be careful, that's glass. <laughs> Lola's jars, huh? Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. Thank you for being such a helpful Cash. Yeah, that's Lola's. Thank you, Cash. Oh, sweet boy. All right, we spent a total of $48.79 and then I got $5 off using my Goodwill coupon. So here's all our goodies right here. We got the boy here. Say hi, Cash. He did so good in the store that he deserved a what? A cookie. Say bye, YouTube. Bye, YouTube. See you later. Bye bye.
Are we at a new thrift store? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Are you gonna go shopping with Lola? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm so excited. Look at mommy's already doing some outside shopping. Gosh, look at the little frappuccino. Isn't that so cute? Is it pretend? That's so cute. What do you think? You wanna eat it? You wanna help Lola push? This is really cute with the fruit oh for two fifty. But look at it's broken right here. Mm -hmm. And it's cracked right here and looks like they glue re glued it. Poor tree. Oh look at that big pumpkin. Mm -hmm. Do you want do you wanna get that pumpkin? Yeah. Yeah? Uh -huh, I'm sure mommy would be really happy about that. <laughs> Mummy feet? You well, see the mummy feet? <laughs> Somebody made that. It's for like one of those tea lights. That's really cute. For 50 cents, I think we're going to grab that. Okay, we're not going to touch everything, okay? We won't be able to put much on. Look at the spider. Somebody made this spider too. Isn't it adorable? I love it. I do. It is very cute. Let me see that little bag. Yeah, somebody made this too. I really like this one. Isn't he so cute? Mom, I like this one too. Yeah. No, um, let me see. That is kind of cute, but they put their name right on the front of it, which is kind of a bummer. But this one, Cash. My white did Yeah, work. we're gonna get this one. This is so cute. I'm gonna put it in here because it's glass. Hey. Oh, not that one. That doesn't that one's missing its lid, huh? It yeah. Alright. Oh, look at this guy, Cash. Oh wow. Do you see him? My white down, my mom buy down. You wanna buy that one? Yeah. You don't think he's scary? Yeah, Halloween time. It is Halloween time, you're right. <laughs> oh. I think we might have to get this guy too. Oh, that's a cute plate, huh? Yeah, my... What do we got here? Hello. Oh. Hello. Hello, big eyeball. Hello. <laughs> Here's a stuff of pumpkin. This is one of those big trash bags that hold leaves. Isn't that cool? That's nice and vintage. Okay, why don't you put it in the cart? Oh, here's some cute little vintage stickers, Cash. These are adorable. I love these. For 50 cents each, we're gonna grab those. Oh, that's cute. He's sleeping. Yeah, Lola will buy that, Lola will buy that. Maybe. I thought you were one of the stuffed animals. <laughs> I saw this cute little Starbucks cup, but unfortunately it's pretty messed up at the top, even though it says new. I'm not sure what happened to that, but that's definitely staying here. So here's that pumpkin that Cash was pointing out. He's got good taste because it's a blow mold, but as you can see, they want $59, so... You won't be grabbing that, but that's pretty cool. Especially right now because it is Halloween season. So time to get out all your Halloween stuff if you have stuff to resell because it is that time where everyone starts buying it. All right, little thrifter in the making, huh, Cash? Oh, thank you. You got your cart just like Lola, right? Yeah. All right, so we spent a total of $13.91 and I did grab a couple things off camera because they hadn't even put these out yet. Let me get them out of the bag. So they had them in a cart, they hadn't put them out yet and so I just happened to look over and you guys know I love baby blankets. So the first one I saw was this Winnie the Pooh one. Now it does have some stains on it. But my cousin just had a baby, so I'll probably send that to her since she's doing the poo theme. And then I found two vintage Carter's blankets. Here is the tag right here. I know that some of these can do really well. 
This one's got some cute little, I think, chipmunks or squirrels on them. But this was definitely the good find of these blankets, mushrooms. And it's vintage and it's Carter's. So this one is super cool. I'm gonna have a hard time letting this one go, but this one should do really, really well. Good afternoon, what is up YouTube fam? And as you can guess, I am headed into this Goodwill in Sullivan. So I'm gonna take you along, thrift with me, and then we are gonna be heading to our local Goodwill after this. So. Enjoy the ride. So in the jackets area, and I came across this really cool Tommy Hill figure. It's like a color block. I think it's like new with, without tags. I'm not sure. But it's got a really, really nice style. And it's very heavy duty puffer style. So for eight bucks, we're going to go ahead and grab this one. All right, so I found a pair of Miss Me jeans that they didn't mark up. These are actually regular price. Unfortunately, they're missing a few stones, so that's definitely going to hurt the value, but they did mark them up, so I was pretty impressed. found a sweatshirt that I might be picking up. It is a Walt Disney World 50th anniversary, and there are varied comps. So it looks like someone's trying to sell this for a hundred. Looks like they might have sold it for a hundred on Poshmark. So not sure. This one's in really good condition. So for five bucks, I think we're gonna grab it. Digging my way through the men's t-shirts here. The only one that I came across was this one. Looked unique. It is on the mountain tag. I know some of them can do really well, and I know this character can do well. So I think we're going to go ahead and grab this. I was a little hesitant because I don't know if these are stains or if that's part of the, the drawing here. You can see a little bit of yellow here and there. I think it's part of the drawing because it's kind of all over the shirt on the front. I don't know. Honestly, I'm a little on the fence. And the more and more I look at this, this definitely looks like a stain. So with that, I think we're going to go ahead and leave it. It wasn't really a huge money maker anyways. I couldn't really find too much on it. And what I did, it was like $30 plus shipping and it wasn't sold. So I found this kid's area jacket. It is a down jacket. It's a puffer. Unfortunately, it's got a lot of staining right here, here, and all over the pocket. I don't think that's going to come out. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to leave it. But that would have been a very good pickup if it was in good condition, especially come winter season. All right, checking out the hats here. I came across a collab of Disney and American Eagle. And we got Mickey. So I think for a dollar, we're going to go ahead and grab this. And this will also do pretty good during winter time. I would say probably around 20-ish. So check this out. I've never seen this brand before. It's called True Grit. So in, I was intrigued to look more into it. And it is a velour. It's super, super soft. And it looks like they can go for around $50. But it does have a rip in it. I'm wondering if that's on the seam. Because if it's on the seam, that can definitely be fixed. I'm going to have to look more into this. Because I think it would be really, really good pickup. Especially knowing this brand does pretty well. So, to be continued on this one. So this is what I like to see is some needlepoint. I'm not sure if this originally came in this bag. Because it is already complete, as you can see. But for $2.99, we're in, or actually only $1.99, we're going to pick this up because people love to pick these up. And so do I. And the Christmas aisle here. And look what I see. A twerking Santa. People love these twerking things. This definitely looks like an older one. 
It's from Dandy, I believe. Could be wrong. No, he is only $2.99. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab him. Even though he was from Walmart, I think he's still gonna be a good pickup. Especially being a new with tags. So I found a vintage Parker Brothers game set. It definitely looks used in there, but for 99 cents, it looks like these do pretty good. So this will be a little bit more than bread and butter items. So let's hope it is complete. I am heading out, heading to the register to check out. Got a few cool things today, so not too shabby. Okay, here we are, the second Goodwill of the day. We just got done with Sullivan, so let's see if we can find anything in this Goodwill. We did okay at the other one, but let's find some amazing stuff, shall we? So I think I actually found some shoes here. It's been a while. They didn't mark them out there, $6.99. I definitely need a good clean job, but these are these are Durango boots, and I believe they are a women's size 10. So after cleaning them up, we should do all right on those. All right, so I've been doing pretty good with purses lately, and this one actually they didn't mark up. It is a B. Mikowski which can be really good. And I've picked them up in the past. Sometimes they're slow movers, but this one's in pretty good condition. Like I said, they didn't mark it up. So this is going to be $3.99 plus. So here is the logo. If you guys find this, the only damage that I see is on the strap here, which we might be able to get this off. I'm not sure. But for four bucks or five, we're going to pick it up. All right, checking out the bags area. It's kind of nice. They actually have the radio off because they're about ready to close. But I found this Young Living Essential Oil Beauty School bag. This is super cool. I've never found anything like this before. It's in excellent condition. Might even be new without tags. So definitely gonna be grabbing this one for $6.99. So definitely be on your lookout for Young Living stuff. Some of it can do extremely well. The last stock card to come out today and found some Bratz dolls. Now, I've never found Bratz here, so this is pretty exciting. And they have a lot of their shoes and accessories, so definitely be picking this up for $3.99. And then also, I found some Bratz <laughs> towel holders and a toilet paper holder. I'll probably end up lotting these together, but we'll see. Bratz is really in right now. People are loving it. All right, so the store is about to close, and I am heading out. So not too bad for about being here, about 45 minutes. So I've got a couple goodies. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you learned something new. And until next time, until we thrift again, see you on the flip side.